Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, we got a guerrilla operation to do, and uh, I'll be doing the first one here, with Bioshock deployment. We'll counter Advent Bending Reed, and we'll get 217 supplies. I could actually really use the supplies. There is a Gatekeeper on the list, there's also Chrysalid Broodmother, but I'm not seeing any Primes. So, here's the squad. We got Alexandra, we got Jake, Milamber, Matt, Alaric and Devalish. And this time we have the Hunter sniper rifle. So that's going to help, and Alaric does have death from above. Uh, oh yeah, hold on, I didn't use the spider shield. Uh, let's use that on Alexandra. Oh no, I don't have it on Devalish. Yeah, I prefer to have it on a Rocketeer here. So let's just swap it here. Okay, let's go then. Sky Ranger deploy in position for deployment. A trusted source in the resistance has confirmed that a high-ranking Advent military officer will be moving through this area as part of a routine patrol. We have an opportunity here to completely disrupt Advent's command structure and delay their current operation. Right, so this is basically is kill one specific officers. target before it runs away kind of mission. Wreck the mech. Okay. Well, we know what kind of target is going to be. I go where I am Let's go scout ahead then, shall we? We don't know there will be chrysalids here, yep. Uh, I already see several of them. Right. I don't really want to engage them yet, if I don't have to. So let's maybe not do that. And I really hate the chameleons. <laughs> they are so annoying. I guess we can set up on the high ground. I mean, especially with Alaric. He needs to be on the high ground. Yeah, some of the enemies are a bit too close. Meaning I can only really have one person there, maybe two people. Yeah, we could also have a Jake over here. Okay, let's send Jake and Alaric. No need to grapple. I'm not actually attacking anything yet. Copy that. All right then. Ten four. This will do. Yeah, this is quite a few chrysalids. And the three chameleons. And I have no good way to counter them still. Other than like acid bombs and things like that. Maybe Advent will help us. We do have a lot of time, it seems. So I need to figure out the best way to kill the chameleon with the squad we got right here. It's a bit of a tough one, actually. Uh, we could try to dominate one, can we? No. We can't. Do we just attack? It's not a bad idea. I could kill that viper just straight up. Yeah, what the heck, let's just kill that viper, shall we? Unless we want to shoot something else. What else is there in that pod? Hold on, I'm going to move a bit closer here. I am on the move. Okay, there's the pod. Armored Psy Viper, Heavy Mech, Elite Purifier. I could actually throw a Claymore and then use a rocket. That's what I'm thinking. Good way to shred them. I think I'll do that, yeah. Here's the claymore. And now we can use a rocket. Uh, which one? Doesn't really matter all that much. Just a regular one. So 0 0.74 scatter. Yep, we should hit all of them. Okay, let's go. 
that should shred most of their armor, if not all of it. There it is, nice one. I love doing this. Now, let's see how many we can actually kill on this turn. I might be able to kill that entire pod. Oh, nice. We have a Serpent Seed, so now Vipers will have a chance to panic. Let's see then. I also have Lightning Hands. Would that be helpful here? Yeah, kind of. Uh, let's hit the mech. That's 5 damage. And then we can get some proper kills. So first we'll kill the mech, uh, definitely. I'm not leaving it up. And then we can just keep firing. As long as we get kills and as long as we have ammunition. A uh, Viper can be last. There is a chance I'll miss. So I'm taking that into account. There we go, nice. That was a satisfying explosion. We do have the chrysalis on the left. Not quite sure what I want to do with them, to be honest. I could try panic shot on the chameleon. Now that's an interesting idea. Uh, let's try that. Yeah, that could work. Yep, there we go. Nice. It will still vanish, but at least it will be panicked. So, what's next? I wouldn't mind killing the Psy Viper as well. He almost revealed me. And we should kill that Chrysalid Reaper. A pistol will do just fine. Okay, uh, well, I can kill the Chrysalid right here. But somebody else needs to take the shot. This is probably good enough. I don't think we need Vest Inspire on this turn. Probably not. We can also use Insanity on something. But the chance to hit is a bit low with it. I got Soul Fire. I'm just figuring out the best way to kill all of them. And we also have Devalish. So, let's see. I need to hit that Viper. I could try Staggering Shot. Let's shoot the Broadmother here. And then we'll use Staggering Shot on the Viper. Right here. I just need that to land. There it is. Nice one. Still got one shot here. What's our chance to hit the Viper? It's not amazing, 67%. Yeah, it's not great. I guess we should still do it. What about Jake? Also 67. Let's take a shot with Jake. I don't think I'll be using Vest Inspire on this turn. We don't need it. Save it for later. Here, got it. Nice. Good job. And now, we got the Chrysalid on the left. We got a Panicked Viper. And that's basically it. And the uh, Panicked Chameleon. Which is currently vanished. So we can't see it. Alright, well, I'll kill the Chrysalid first. And then we can kill the Viper here. And then I can reload. Because I don't have three reloads. But if we don't have to use them, then we won't. We can just use a regular one. It's killing time. There. Okay, and Overwatch in case more Chrysalis join the party. So this is our target from the looks of it, or is that the Evac? No, that's the Evac zone. Oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Interesting name. Alright. So, what now? There are more chameleons in the back, which I'm not a huge fan of. 
Oh, okay, they are all the way back here now. That's probably for the best right now. Let's move towards our actual target. Yeah, and we can stay on the high ground. I see no reason not to do that. Yep. First, let's reload everything. Uh, I saw a chrysalid here for a moment. I think that's the panicked one. Okay, well, let's just move in this general direction. We still got nine turns. Overwatch. I fully expect that Chameleon to do some damage to someone. That's probably going to happen. Yep, no longer panicked. I could really use like dragon rounds or something like that. I do have nine cores, so I might actually try. Uh, here's the Gatekeeper and the Mutant Devastator. Good to know. Uh, so let's move in this direction. And I should be able to deal with this. So that's a pretty nasty pod right there. Gatekeeper, our actual target. Mutant Devastator. And here are some more dudes. Yeah, this could be interesting. I can shut down the mech. I don't think I want to risk control. Chance for that is a little bit too low. And this might be a good moment to throw the Mimic Beacon, actually. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's throw the Mimic Beacon. I'm a little bit far away right now, actually. Now, unfortunately, Matt does not have Banish. Not yet, anyway. He will get it in the future. So, can we actually kill anything? Yeah, I'm not quite close enough to take a shot with Levalish, unfortunately. We can Overwatch, though. I'm on it. Might as well. I could use a rocket. Can we use a regular one and fire it, like, through the building? I don't think so. Uh, sort of. I don't think it's worth doing. I could grapple and use it. Again, sort of. It might not be possible very easily. Yeah, I would have to use Guided Rocket. Or I can move and get a greater scatter. Out. What if we do that? 1.17 scatter. That's not that bad. It might be worth it. But can we actually kill anything? That's the question. Actually, I'm not convinced it's worth it, because if I misfire too much, I'll only hit a single enemy. We're actually better off with the Guided Rocket here. I can hit three enemies with the Guided Rocket. Let's do that. This wouldn't be possible with the scatter mechanic. There, and we'll shred the mech, so that's useful. Let's see, can the Matt get a kill? Not yet. Now, Alaric can definitely get some kills. So, let's see, maybe we can blow up that purifier, and not that he's close enough to anything. I can technically still use Vest Inspire as well, maybe I'll do that. Okay, Alaric. See how good this weapon is? That's why I wanted it. It's so good, combined with Death from Above. As long as we can get some high ground. It won't always be possible. Anyway, let's get the kills, shall we? This also means Alaric should get promoted in record time, because he'll be getting all the kills here. Or at least the majority of them. Yeah, now this might miss. If it does... I'll just use Vest Inspire. We can also freeze something, but perhaps that won't be necessary. Uh, let's try to kill this Lancer here. 
Oh, we actually didn't kill him because he dodged. Uh, one HP. Uh, that's pretty annoying. But okay. Uh, that is very annoying. Here you go. Take a shot at the mech. Okay, let's take a shot at the mech here. Then I can kill the mech. Okay, then we'll take out the mech. Then I could use free reload, or I could just use my pistol. Enemy down. It's an option. I still got frostbite. The shield bearer is kind of irrelevant now. He has nobody left to shield. So I can probably ignore him right now. Uh, can we kill the lancer with mud? Uh, possibly. But he might get revealed. You cannot run. I've located the can we use remote start? Uh, sort of. But this won't actually hit anything. So not very useful right now. Yeah, if only this guy was a little bit closer. So 82%. I think that's good enough. If I get revealed, I'll just conceal myself. I don't want to waste Sting just yet. And Matt needs some kills for promotions. For the Reapers! Okay, so now I could just reload my weapon to save three reloads. Since they are not unlimited. Yep, sounds good. Do this. That was a pretty good turn. And probably best to move with Devalish so that I can take two shots on the next turn. From the high ground. Alright then. So, we still got that nasty pod over there. That could get interesting. Yep, I was a little bit afraid that might happen. Now, this is not like an explosive one, but now our entire squad is disoriented. I was hoping it will target the beacon, but it did not. Maybe the gatekeeper will target the beacon. Oh, uh, the chrysalid will target the beacon. That's actually even better. I'm okay with this. More chrysalids coming. Yeah, the real party is about to get started. Yep. This is actually going to be nasty. And we still got the gatekeeper. And now, like, my entire squad is disoriented. Not too happy about that. Maybe now we can use remote start. As in, I could have used it on the previous turn, but it wouldn't have achieved anything. So... Oh no, I can't because, yeah, I'm disoriented. Right. Well, that's not good. We can use stasis and domination, and I have my own flashbang grenade. What can we dominate? A chrysalid? Yeah, 96% is solid. We can also stay this another chrysalid. Like this one. Or this one. Not that it matters, they are all the same. Okay, let's stay this a chrysalid. And then we'll try to dominate another chrysalid. Hopefully it will work. Because there's still a chance of failure. 4% chance of failure. That would suck. I'm with you. Go, go, go. I think we got it. Nice. Okay. So now... I would still like to kill something despite being disoriented. I could also still cause an explosion. Just not with remote start. So that's an option. What's our chance to hit here? It's 100. So this will be a kill, and I have to kill this fella. What about Alaric? 100. Uh, that's just a Reaper. I can kill that with a pistol. Uh, or not. 92%, that's our actual target. 82%. Let's just go for a guaranteed kill here. 
So that will be a kill. Hostile terminated. Okay, so I can still cause that explosion. I don't think that will do me much good. Let's kill that Reaper in the back. Might as well. Is the mech close enough? It is? Can we actually kill the mech? That's a good question. I'm not sure, maybe. I can use Rapture, but I would have to actually hit. 77%. I will also be out of ammunition. I think it's worth it. It will suck a little bit if it fails. As in, if I miss. Okay, we will not miss. So that's a Shred and a Rapture. Now I can definitely kill the mech. I think Alaric might be able to do it now. Uh, yep, that will be at least 13 damage. As long as he doesn't miss. Nice. Okay, that leaves us with the Gatekeeper in the back and the Devastator. We can't see them, but they are there. Do we explode this? I think I might. But we still got a few targets, like this Trooper fella. I don't think the Shield Bearer is very relevant. But the Infector looks like an easy target. Okay, shoot the Infector. And I can probably kill it. Oh, we got Hair Trigger, nice. I can actually kill it with a pistol to preserve my ammunition. This will have a chance to miss, but I want to save my ammunition for the next turn. Got it. Okay, that leaves us with Jake, Matt, and still Alaric. Let's see then. 64%. Yeah, might as well shoot that guy. Nice one. Uh, that means I can kill him. Most likely. I don't think I'll be taking a shot with Matt. His chance to hit is a bit too low right now. 72%. This will be a kill no matter what, because we got superior stock in this weapon. And then we can still take a shot. So we could shoot the shield bearer. I could also overwatch. Or we could fire a pistol here. This won't do a whole lot, but we will hit one chrysalid. However, that will make it vanish. So maybe not the best idea, to be honest. Yeah, okay, I don't think that's the best idea. Let's just shoot that shield bearer. I'll have to kill him eventually. So we can kill him on the next turn. Uh, or not. Never mind then. You tried. And we'll move a bit closer to see the gatekeeper. Uh, we can't see the gatekeeper, okay. Interesting. I still can't see it! Oh yeah, there it is. It's too far away to attack. Uh, the shield bearer will try to shoot someone. And fail. Let's see what the chrysalids are going to do. I'm hoping they will attack my chrysalid. But there's no guarantee that will happen. Yeah, they vanished, which is a bit annoying. Hello there. Where are you going? Go away. Nobody likes you. Now I can use all of my tools. So, let's do that. The gatekeeper is still too far away, unfortunately. But we completed our actual objective. So now... There's no timer anymore. We just need to kill everything that's left. I don't have insanity, which won't do me much good right now. I can use remote start now, but I don't know if the vanished chrysalis are close enough. So that might actually end up doing nothing. Probably not worth it. Uh, lightning hands. 
Yeah, let's just let him hunt this chrysalide here. Then I think I'll use a regular reload still. Okay, regular reload is fine. Now, somebody else needs to hit the shield bearer first. I guess that somebody is going to be Alexandra here. Hopefully shred him as well. There we go. And then I can kill it. Like this. I just need to not miss. Down he goes. Then I can shoot that chameleon in the back. That's probably what I'll do. It will vanish, but I don't see a better way to do it. Yeah, not really. Okay. Well, shoot it then. 12 damage. Decent enough. I'm pretty much guaranteed to take some damage. It's going to happen. We'll just deal with it. And we still got the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper is still dangerous. But he didn't actually see me. Reloading. Okay, let's kill the chrysalid here. On my way. I'll save my ammunition in the bolt caster and kill the chrysalid with me lumber here. That works. I don't think I'll be doing anything with Matt. Not really. Where's the muton? Here, okay, that's everything in that pod. Now we can back up a little. And they will stay revealed. And let's actually reload here and then Overwatch. I still have cereal. I didn't actually need it yet. Uh, as for our chrysalid here... I don't actually want to barrel. I want him to be bait. So we'll just stay in the middle. I want the other chrysalids to target our chrysalid, you know? So no barrel. Okay, here comes the gatekeeper. And now we'll get some shots. Now it definitely saw us. And we missed. Uh, to be fair, chance to hit there was pretty low. Can we hit it? Damn it. Okay, I actually really wanted to hit with that. But alas. This might get a bit nasty because we still have several chrysalids. There is nowhere to hide. Hopefully they won't attack us. Okay, the gatekeeper is the number one priority here. So let's take it out. I don't think I need a rocket here. Just move and take a shot. And hopefully not miss. I don't even have to move. So in theory, I can try a panic shot. I mean, I don't really care about the panic part all that much. Obviously, it's nice when it works or when it's possible for it to work, but it's a free shot. So let's just go for it. There. Okay, it did panic. Very nice. So that's basically easy mode and I can blow up uh, it's armor. Yeah, now we can use remote start. Perfect moment to use remote start here. There we go, 12 damage and a nice shred. Perfect. Not a lot of shred, but still good damage. Uh, now, let's see. First, the chrysalid over here. And we also got these guys. They are quite far away. Uh, but they could still do some damage. Not sure what the best way to deal with this chrysalid is. Locked and loaded. I could try to stun it, because this will have a chance to stun it. Not exactly reliable, but it might happen. Probably won't. Okay, no, it didn't. Oh well. We still got our chrysalid bait. Now, these guys are a bit too far away for me to use like insanity or something. I could kind of use it, but I would have to stand in the open. And not a big fan of that solution. 
Let's take some shots at the gatekeeper. It might be panicked, but I'll still have to kill it. I'll still have cereal, but no good use for it at the moment. And we still have some rockets. Now, that is definitely a good thing. How about a bunker buster? I can almost hit the gatekeeper and the guys on the left. See? I can actually kind of do it. But we have scatter mechanic. So if I target it like this, I risk not hitting literally anything. If it misfires in this direction. So that's too risky. Uh, let's just fire a regular rocket. Okay, go, go, go. There it is. And then I could fire another rocket. That's a possibility. Can we kill one guy with Alaric yet? Uh, yes, we can. So let's do that. And then I can use free reload. I might not even need free reload here. <laughs> okay, now it's useful. It's actually useful right now. Here we go. Uh, so, I am close enough to attack the Muton. So I suppose we could do that. Okay, let's do that. Move a little bit closer. And then we can use staggering shot. That's what I'm thinking. Can I actually kill him? He has 22 health. In theory, I might be able to. If I use another rocket... Then take a shot with me lumber. Not a problem. Uh, can we use insanity on him? Because that will also put rapture on him. Because I have schism. Yeah, this is good. Let's give it a shot. If he gets raptured, I should be able to kill him. Okay, yeah, he's raptured. Nice. So now we'll do more damage. Here, up to 16. And 100% chance to hit. That's 15. And then Alaric can get a kill. Man, I love this weapon. It's so good. Bye-bye. Okay. We still got the chameleons, but I'm ignoring their existence right now. Because I can't do anything about them anyway. Not at the moment. Uh, so, let's maybe move to this side of the building. We can still take a shot at the gatekeeper, because... Why not? Still have to kill it on the next turn. Alright then. Oh yeah, one more shot, nice. There it is, 8 damage. And that's it, that's our turn. Man, a panic shot is so good. Even without the panic component, it would still be a decent ability. Because it's a free action. Okay, here's one chameleon. And we just lost our mobile mimic beacon, unfortunately. Oh well. So, let's get some kills. Might as well get a kill for Jake, that works. Goodbye. Now the gatekeeper. I could still use a shred on it. Maybe we should just use a rocket, because that's safer. And we are almost done with this mission. So what else am I going to use a rocket for? And then I can still shred it with my main weapon. Hopefully, that can miss. Got it. And the Devilish can finish the job, or Matt can finish the job. Uh, okay, maybe Devilish. Got it. I think there's one more chrysalid. Maybe two more chrysalids? Uh, I lost count. Let's just Overwatch, I guess. Not much else I can do about them. Just Overwatch. Okay, that's an Infector. It should die from Overwatch, I think. Depends on line of sight. No, it will die from Overwatch. 
So there's still the chameleon. I'll just have to overwatch, I think. Really, not much else I can do. Here it comes. Uh, or not. Yep, there it is. Come on, people. Kill the chrysalid. Anybody? Yeah, we'll take some damage, which is annoying, but whatever. Now it's basically dead. Uh, but I need guaranteed 9 damage, preferably. That will do. That should finish the mission, I think. Or is there one more? No, there's actually one more still. Okay. Let's heal ourselves. That sounds like a good plan. Unfortunately, we won't get a flawless mission. Oh well. That's how it goes. Let's move to the high ground. I think there's one more chameleon. I'm not really counting them anymore. It can't be anything else. Yeah, there it is. I hate these things. At least it didn't hit us, so Alaric will not be wounded. Alright then, so I could try Insanity, but yeah, it's only 46%, kind of low. We can try to freeze it. Yeah, pretty sure it can't vanish when it's frozen, so that works. And now it's as good as dead. Yep, no problem. Uh, let's get a kill for somebody else, maybe. On the move. And it's dead. Now we're done. Nice. Only one soldier wounded. We were pretty close to having a flawless mission. But chameleons <laughs> spoiled it, unfortunately. 20 years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a... But yeah, I'm guessing most of you have known this combo for a long time now, but in case you don't know, this is why I wanted the chosen sniper rifle. It's just so good combined with the death from above. In case you didn't know, like most of you probably already know that. Okay, the preserves, escape and evade. When damaged, heal 50% of the damage over time, max 2 health per turn, 8 health total, reduces wound recovery time after missions. Yeah, let's get this. And then I will pick up weapon specialist. That will cost me 10 points from the shared pool, but this is way too good to ignore. There we go. Only one promotion. Here's the loot. You have done an outstanding and we got the supplies. The resistance, commander. A soldier shaken. Right, that's fine. Can we send anyone to the infirmary? Uh, nobody has any negative traits. We can do something at the proving ground. So maybe I'll make the EXO suit. It won't take long. I have 10 cores, let's make one, why the heck not? And I got the Shredder gun, or whatever it's called. Shredder cannon. So, uh, what do we do now? I don't think I'll be making contact with New Mexico yet. No, let's finish making contact with New Australia. I could just ignore Mexico, to be honest. I don't really need this bonus here in North America. It's kind of, sort of useful, but I don't really need it. We'll keep our contact capacity. There we go, we got a new Australia. Now I can build a radio relay here. Because the next one would cost us like 240. That's obviously too much. So we'll build a radio relay here. Uh, oh yeah, hold on, what's the bonus here? Oh, this is really nice. There is a chance Advent Unit will join us on every mission. So we will have a double chance, because I'll also have the chance to get the resistance soldier. Through, like, resistance we orders. orders we don't have Vulture now as well. Yeah, right here, Volunteer Army. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I should upgrade the resistance ring. 
Okay, let's do that. It's only 100. I guess I can kind of afford it. And we'll build the tower. That's 200 supplies, but I need it. And again, I want this bonus. I actually really want that bonus. Now, we still have to raid this facility right here, and we will. There's no huge rush to do that. Avatar project progress is really low. We got three active facilities right now. I'll probably raid it sometime before the fourth one pops up. So sometime in the next three weeks. That's what I'm thinking. There's nothing special in this one, right? A high explosives sea trap. This one actually looks fairly easy, only 14 enemies. Anyway, let's get that radio relay. There's our suit, nice one. So back to the proving ground. I guess I could do experimental heavy weapon now, but I don't have to, I already have a shredder gun. So that's really not needed. We should maybe get self-repairing nanomachines to repair damage sparks faster, because right now that takes forever, it really does. It's some supplies, but okay, fine, I'll pay the supplies. There's the facility lead, nice one. What do we do next? We should probably go after the assassin. And by probably, I mean we should definitely do exactly that. So... Okay, let's maybe send... Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll send someone we won't be needing in the near future. I still need to level up the Inquisitor, but... I need to upgrade his weapons, and I've been prioritizing other things. He can go here for now. He's been bored lately. Okay, this looks good enough. Off you go. A bond training is almost done, nice. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now. And a supply drop. I really need that supply drop right now. Efforts have proven to be so mediocre. My training, my focus, all of my efforts have been rewarded. So, hidden event. I'll probably counter alien cipher, because this is pretty annoying. Yeah, I'm going to save my intel here. There's no need to spend 30 intel here, I don't think so. We got one more slot now. So that's a wild card, I can use whatever I want. Let's use Vulture. Yep, sounds good. I think that's the most useful one right now. Yep. 530 supplies, nice. How about some more training? Uh, nobody else needs training, okay. And we have bond level 3 now. So I guess the relay can wait. I kind of need the supplies. Maybe we can get some more before the next mission pops up. Whatever the next mission is going to be. And then I could consider getting the intel. We could also get a supply raid from this. But I don't think I really need that. I mean, sure, I like supplies, but I'll have to do a mission for that. Not sure if I really want to do that, I'll be honest. I might just let that expire. Anyway, our research is almost done. Work is well underway. And... Uh, proving ground. Not quite sure what this broad gauntlet is. I suppose we can find out. It won't cost me a whole lot. We'll so let's find out. We'll finish our research here. This will prove there it is. An important breakthrough. Inspired autopsy. It's only one day. I guess I can do it. Here's Avatar Project Progress. 
If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move. PC is high of drone tech, okay. Our team is actually quite efficient. So do we continue powered armor now? I think so. Not that I've done a lot of it, but we should research it at some point. Priority. Here's the supply drop. So let's check the black market really quick. Market is open. I don't have that much intel, so... Okay, I can get a Colonel Grenadier for 105 intel. I think I'm going to do that. Carlos Alonso. Good name. That's a solid name, I like it. Okay, why the heck not? Let's get Carlos Alonso. Welcome aboard. And we'll check him out right away. Let's see. He's gifted, that's not too bad. Does he have anything fun? A running gun. Okay, so first shredder. This is actually useful because I need more soldiers with shredder. And grenadiers are granted to have it. Uh, holo targeting and heavy ordnance. My kind know all A volatile mix. Yeah, I want both salvo and halo bullets, but then I also want both saturation fire and rapture. I think I'll have to skip run and gun here. Yeah. Okay, salvo. Can I afford everything? I could maybe skip rapture because I actually already have rapture on several soldiers, but rapture is so good. It's not that many extra points, I think I'll get it. So definitely Halo Bullets. And why the heck not, let's get Rapture, it's only 5 extra points from Shared Pole. So this guy is actually pretty good, I like it. What about PCS? I think I'll just give him dodge or something. There you go, dodge. Yeah, I quite like him. So. I think I might just raid the facility now. It should be a pretty easy one. I see this one right here. There will be a ruler here, but there are only 14 enemies. Chrysalid King, Codex Prime. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.